Hey, you're in my English class. Yes, I am. Did you buy the textbook yet? No, it's really expensive. How much is it? The original price is over $200. We could buy it from a former student. We could also buy the used version. That is a great idea. I will give you the website to buy used books. Thank you so much. No problem at all. When are you going to register for classes? My registration date is next month. That is terrible. Yeah, it is very late. Mine is next week. Why is your date so early? I am a student athlete. Maybe I should play a sport. Soccer tryouts are tomorrow. I don't like soccer. Would you rather have a late registration date? I actually would. How many classes did you manage to get? I only got two. I only got one. There are too many full classes at this college. I never get the classes I need. Have you tried asking the professor for a spot? That doesn't work all the time. At this point, we will graduate in 10 years. That is so early. What are you talking about? I think we will graduate in 15 years. You are funny. Are you excited for the first day of school? No, I'm very afraid. What is to be afraid of? I am afraid of the teacher. But you haven't even met her yet. I have heard bad things about her. What bad things? I heard that she doesn't let anyone laugh. That is ridiculous. The older kids told me that. They are just trying to scare you. Oh, really? Thank goodness. I have never seen you before. I am a new student. Where are you from? I am from Japan. I love Japan. What do you love about it? I love the food, the culture, and the location. I could show you around someday. That would be so fun. But first, can you show me around here? It would be my pleasure. Let's start after school. Did you finish the math project? I have not started. But it's due tomorrow. I thought it was due next week. Do you even pay attention in class? I guess not. Do you know where to start? Not at all. I can help you. That would be awesome. I'll help you at my house tonight. I'll be there. Did you bring the pie chart for our presentation? You're going to be mad. What did you do? I forgot the pie chart. How could you forget? I am so sorry. Where is it? It is at home. Are your parents at home? My mom is at home. Ask her to drop it off. I will call her right now. I am doing poorly in my history class. What is your grade? I have an F. You need to do well on the final exam. I am planning to study. That did not work all the times before. What do you think I should do then? Look at the smart person's test answers. But that is cheating. What other choice do you have? I would rather fail the class than cheat. You're a good student. I have a book report. What book are you doing it on? I have to read To Kill a Mockingbird. That is an excellent book. That is good to know. Do you have the book yet? I am planning to get it soon. You should borrow it from the library. What is the library? You have never heard of the library? I have never heard of it. At the library, you can borrow books for free. I'm planning to put gum in Miss Miller's hair. Why would you do such a thing? Because Miss Miller gives too much homework. She is so nice, though.
I do not care. You might get suspended. What does that mean? It means you have to leave school for a while. That's the punishment? Yes. It is worse than detention. Suspension sounds like a vacation to me. Say that to your parents. I have five classes and 40 hours of work weekly. Your life is so stressful. Sadly, it is. I am only taking two classes. Do you have work? I am too lazy to work. Don't you want money, though? My parents are rich. My parents are poor. I'm sorry to hear that. They're poor, but honest, good people. Good for you. I am so hungry. I am hungry, too. How many more minutes until lunch? Thirty more minutes. That is too long. I know. I hear your stomach growling. Do you have any food in your backpack? I have a bag of chips. Can I have some? Maybe next time. Wait, why not now? Because I'm going to eat the chips. Do you live in the dorms? Yes, I do. What do you like about it? I get to see my friends almost all the time. What else? I don't have to see my parents. How much does it cost to dorm? It is very expensive. Tell me exactly how much. You're going to faint after I tell you. Just tell me. It costs $15,000 per year. I wish I was a cheerleader. Why do you want to be one? Cheerleaders are popular. Popularity is not important. If you're popular, everyone knows you. I think you have been watching too many movies. No, I have not. You can be popular in other ways. What other ways? You could just be nice to people. That is so hard. This is why you are not popular. The lunch menu is so bad today. What is the cafeteria serving? Leftover meatloaf and Brussels sprouts. That is disgusting. I'm thinking of buying something from the vending machine. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What's wrong with the vending machine? It steals your money. Vending machines can't steal. Yesterday, I inserted a dollar and no food came out. I think I'll just go to the cafeteria. Meatloaf and Brussels sprouts sounds good right now, right? I am so nervous for the class presentation. Don't be. You're so smart. I know, but I don't like big audience. Do you want my advice? Of course I do. Imagine the audience in their underwear. That is insane. It really works. Have you tried it? Yes. I got an A on my presentation. I'll try it then. You can do it. Tomorrow is show and tell. Yeah, I know. I am bringing my new purse for show and tell. Purses are boring. No, they're not. Well, I'm bringing my dog. You can't bring dogs to school. No one has to know until tomorrow. You are going to get into so much trouble. But I'll be the coolest kid in school. You won't be saying that in jail. I am not falling for that. Did you get a partner for the geometry project? I am still looking around. Do you want me to be your partner? I am sorry, but I do not. What is wrong with me? You're known as someone who is very lazy. That is so not true. Well. It's what I heard from our classmates. You can't always trust people. You do make a good point. Give me a chance, and I won't let you down. Okay, I trust you. Mom, can you buy me a laptop? You are only 13. Everyone in school has one. They must be rich then. I really need it. What do you need it for? I want to bring it to school for homework. Aren't there computers at school? They are way too slow. 
Back in my day, there were no computers. I hate it when you say that. I hate it when you ask for things. Excuse me, aren't you in my math class? Yes, I think I am. Could I please borrow your notes? Sure, but please hurry with them. I will. I only want to look over them. We went over some of the new material yesterday. Was it very difficult? It was not too different from what we learned. Did the teacher mention the test? The test will be next week. Thank you for your help. Sure. Good luck studying. Excuse me, where can I find a dictionary? What kind of dictionary would you like? A bilingual dictionary would be nice. Well, there are many printed dictionaries. Is there one you'd recommend? Personally, I like the digital dictionaries. Do you sell those here? Yes. They're like mini computers. They are much more expensive, aren't they? Unfortunately, they can be expensive. I think I'll stick with the printed version. Either way, I'm sure it will be very useful. Give me your lunch money. Stop it, or you will be sorry. Are you arguing with me? I'm tired of you taking my money. I'm going to give you one last chance. Are you going to hit me? I'm going to hit you hard. I'll just tell the principal. You are lying. Just hit me now, and you'll see I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I'll leave you alone. I have a problem. Tell me about it. I got hired at a restaurant and a clothing store. What's the problem? I can only work for one of them. I think you should work at the restaurant. Tell me why. Folding clothes is annoying. What else is bad about clothing stores? Customers always mess up the clothes. Anything else? You get tips at restaurants. That's a good point. I want to be a doctor. Why do you want to be a doctor? Doctors make a lot of money. Doctors also have to go to school for a long time. Never mind. I want to be an engineer. Why do you want to be an engineer? Engineers make a lot of money. Will you be happy, though? If I have a lot of money, I will be happy. Money doesn't equal happiness. But I can buy whatever I want with money. You can't buy friends, family, or love. I just turned 16 yesterday. 16 is a great age. What's so great about being 16? You can get a job. I didn't know that. You have to get a work permit, though. Thanks for telling me. No problem. Tell me when you get a job. Is it hard to get one? Yes, employers don't like to hire people under 18. That's going to change when they meet me. Your confidence will surely get you a job. I'm going to quit school. I don't recommend that. Don't worry. I'm going to start a business. What kind of business? I'm going to make robot that does chores. Have you made the robot yet? No, but I'm starting to. If you do manage to complete it, it would sell well. Yeah, that's why I'm going to quit school. You are right. Who needs school if you have a great idea? I'm just worried my parents won't understand. They love you. They'll understand. How long have you been watching TV? About 10 hours. You need to get a job. Why? You and Dad make so much money. You can't just sit around all day. But I'm not good at anything. Everyone is good at something. Well, I'm good at watching TV. Why don't you become a TV critic? I would love to watch TV and write, write reviews. See? You are good at something. Thanks, Mom. I'll start looking for jobs now. I'm trying to find a job to pay for college. Good for you. Do you have a job right now? Yes, I am a waitress. Any tips on finding a part-time job? Be friendly, offer your resume, and dress nicely. I've done that so many times. Sometimes companies don't need any employees. How did you get your job? 
Just send applications and hope someone calls. So is it based on luck? A little bit luck helps. Before this interview starts, any questions? Nope, I'm ready to go. Okay, great. Tell me about yourself. I'm 35 years old with a degree in teaching. Why do you want to become a teacher? I want to improve students' futures. What subject would you like to teach? I would love to teach science. I was a science teacher once. Interesting. What made you change jobs? Scientists don't really interact with kids. True. I'll call you back if I decide to hire you. Thanks. I hope to hear from you soon. What is your job? I'm a teacher. What grade do you teach? I teach ninth graders. Do you like your job? I hate it. What do you hate the most? I hate that they never listen to me. You can always punish them. I hit them. You what? I'm just kidding. I'm trying to find a job and it's hard. I think it's because you have never worked before. You're right. Employers like to see someone with experience. That is unfortunate. I can't get a job if no one will give me a chance. Try to sell yourself. How am I going to do that? Talk about your talents. I can lick my nose. Not that kind of talent. I'm the captain of the basketball team. There you go. Try mentioning that. How was your first day of work? It was terrible. What happened? My coworkers bullied me. How did they bully you? They said I didn't deserve to be there. You're the most passionate veterinarian I know. I don't deserve this kind of treatment. Do you have any idea why they bullied you? It's because they're a lot older than me. You need to talk to your boss. Yeah, I will. It's finally lunchtime. I've been counting the minutes. How long is our lunch break? It's 30 minutes. That's it? I worked for five hours. I know. It's terrible. But what can we do? Can we protest? We would get fired. But we deserve a longer lunch break. I agree. I think we should have one hour. Let's start a petition rather than protest. A petition is a perfect idea. I have the worst job shift ever. No, I do. My shift is from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. My shift is from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. Okay, I was wrong. You have the worst shift. It's ruining my health. I have to change my sleeping schedule. I can never have dinner with my family anymore. Me too. My parents are mad at me. Mine too. They want me to quit. Let's quit together. Yeah, let's quit next week. I realize that I hate my job. What's wrong with it? I always have to treat customers like royalty. Even when the customer is wrong? At my job, the customer is always right. Tell me a bad experience you had. A customer dropped his drink on me once. And then what happened? He started getting mad at me. That is so unreasonable. Then my manager told me to apologize. You should quit. Hi, how are you doing today? I am fine. Just so you know, we have a huge sale today. Good to know. We also have dresses that just came in today. Can you please stop talking? I beg your pardon? I just want to shop, but you keep talking. I'm just doing my job. You're not very good at doing your job. It's my job to tell you about our sale. You're just really annoying. I got fired yesterday. You're lying. You're the best worker there. I really got fired. How is that possible? My co-worker said I was stealing from the company. Is that true? Of course not. I would never steal. Did you tell your manager that? I tried, but my co-worker put a necklace in my bag. She must really hate you. She's really jealous of me. She's jealous and mean. 
I'm thinking of moving to Texas. Why? You love California. I do, but there's a great teaching job in Texas. How much would you get? I would get $70,000 a year. How much do you make now? I earn $60,000 a year. I still don't think you should move. Really? Why not? All your friends and family are here. Are there any other reasons? I think you'll earn $70,000 if you're patient. I am a nurse. Why didn't you want to become a doctor? Doctors have to go to school longer. But they get more money. Nurses get a lot of money, too. Not really. Doctors have more prestige. Prestige and money doesn't matter to me. Good for you. Are you a doctor? I am going to be one in four years. A lot can change in four years. I know, but I believe in myself. I have overtime next week. What does that mean? It means I'm working more hours than usual. What are your usual hours? I usually work eight hours a day for five days. How about next week? I'm working another eight hours on Saturday. But Mom was planning a party on Saturday. I can't make it. Can't you tell your boss? That's not how the real world works. I wish the world was perfect. Hey, Mr. Smith, are you busy? Not at all. What's going on? I've been working with the company for 10 years. Yes, and I appreciate your dedication. I think I should get a raise for my dedication. Of course, but it must be reasonable. I think I should be paid $30 an hour. That's a little too much. I have a master's degree, and I'm a great worker. I know, but the economy is bad. How about $25 an hour? That can be considered. You are late to work again. I'm very sorry. How do you manage to make it late every day? I don't mean to be so late. You look very tired. I didn't get enough sleep. If you sleep earlier, earlier you'll rise earlier. I can't sleep that early. Why? Are you a night owl? No, I'm just very busy with housework. Well, set your alarm and wake up on time. I won't be late again, I promise. I can't unlock the door. Maybe it's because the key is brand new. The lock won't turn at all. Are you sure the key is not upside down? I've flipped it five times. It still doesn't work? No, the door is still locked. Let me try to open it. Maybe you'll have better luck. I see what the problem is. You're using your old key. Oops, I'm so used to my old house. It's all right. Eventually, you'll get used to this one. I don't like the color of the walls. It's a very bright color. I want to repaint the whole house. What color will you use? I was thinking a nice blue color. That sounds very nice and soft. Will you help me paint the house? I think we will still need help. I'll ask some others to join us. Will you pay us? I'll pay you with pizza and soda. It's a deal. I'm hired. My son broke a window yesterday. How did he do that? He said he was practicing his pitching. He was pitching against the window? No, against the side of the house. If he missed, he's not a very good pitcher. No, but he's pretty fast and can run long distances. How do you know that? I chased him when I found out he broke the window. Well, you contributed to his training. As his coach, my fee is three months of his allowance. What a coincidence! That's enough for a new window. Why are you cutting into the wall? I bought a new air conditioning unit. I don't think that's how you install it. Have you ever installed one before? No, but that still looks wrong. I think I know what I'm doing. I see water pipes behind that wall. I don't think that's good for the air conditioner. I don't think so either. Will you call some professionals now? I guess that's the best thing to do. You should have done so from the beginning. 
You have so many portraits on your wall. I love displaying all the pictures I've taken. How do you hang all the picture frames? I just hang them on the wall. You don't use nails, do you? Well, yes, I do. You're not allowed to use nails in an apartment. Why not? It ruins the walls for the next tenant. I didn't think about that. You'd better use poster putty the next time. I'll cover all these holes with paint. You sure bought a lot of Christmas lights. I want the house to be shining this Christmas. Do all of the houses on the block decorate? Yes, they do. It is quite beautiful. I can wait to see when it's done. A parade marches by every year so people can see them. What are you doing on the roof? I'm going to make it look like it snowed up here. Are you using Christmas lights and cotton? That's right. I'll install a Santa Claus, too. You sure are full of Christmas spirit. Of course. It only comes once a year. The house down the street is on fire. How do you know? There is smoke coming from the house. Did you call 911? I am going to call right now. I think they're having a barbecue. This is nothing to joke about. No, I mean the smoke is coming from a grill. Oh, that explains the delicious smell. Were we invited? I'm afraid we were not. How sad, even after saving their burning house. How many roommates do you have? There are five of us in total. Wow. Don't you ever fight? Sometimes, but we try not to. Who does all the household chores? We take turns so that it's fair. That's a good way to do things. Yes, it is, and it helps us get along better. What about when one of you has a girlfriend over? We agreed to try not to have them over too often. I guess it would be a tight squeeze. Too tight for any of our liking. Who let the dog inside? I did. What's the problem? He got mud all over the new carpet. That wasn't him. I just gave him a bath. Now that I look closer, these look like footprints. Well, they're not mine. They're too big. They're not mine either. I haven't been outside. I think those are Dad's footprints. I think you're right. Dad's in big trouble now. Yes, he is. Maybe he'll sleep in the doghouse tonight. I don't think the dog wants Dad as a roommate. I made a terrible mistake. What's the problem? I made the check for the mortgage and didn't mail it. When was it due? Yesterday. I thought I sent it three days ago. It was just an honest mistake. Do you think I can send it now? Well, you have to. They may charge a late fee, though. I have to be more careful when making the payments. Yes, you do. I'd hate to be evicted. Don't joke about things like that. I'm sorry. I'll go mail the check now. I need a bigger closet. I think you just need fewer clothes. A woman can never have too many clothes. She can if they don't fit in her closet. Maybe we should take your things out of it. Then where would I put my clothes? You can put them in a small wardrobe. I think it's easier if you throw some dresses out. My dresses are nicer than your clothes. I only have the clothes that are necessary. So do I. I need to look nice more often than you do. I wish your attitude was as nice as your dresses. I have a big surprise for you. Is it a new toy? No, it's a big announcement. That doesn't sound very exciting. We are moving to a new house. What's wrong with our apartment? Well, a house is bigger. Apartments are cozier. You can have a dog in the new house. But we already have a cat. The new house has a tree house in the backyard. Now there's a big surprise. I'm so excited. There are holes in the wood in the garage. Are they big or little? They are actually quite tiny. That is very worrisome. Why do you say that? You could have termites or carpenter ants. You mean bugs could be eating at my house? Yes, it is a very serious problem.
What should I do? You need to fumigate them immediately. Bugs are such a hassle. I wish they were all dead. I want to form a secret club. That sounds fun. Where would the club meet? Maybe we can meet in my attic. No way. It's dark up there. We just need to take flashlights. What if we fall through the ceiling? I don't think that will happen. Most attics are haunted in movies. Do you really believe in ghosts? No, but I don't want to risk it. Maybe the attic isn't such a good idea. Let's meet in the living room instead. I'm planning a housewarming party. Is that to celebrate buying a heater? Don't be so sarcastic. I really don't know what that is. It's so that we can meet our neighbors. I don't really want to meet our neighbors. Quit being so negative. What do we do at this party? Everyone brings a dish and we sit and eat and talk. Sounds like a regular party. It's a regular party. Next time, don't call it something so strange. This is the perfect house for us. It has all the bedrooms we need. Each bedroom even has a bathroom. The backyard is huge. And we finally have a pool. What's the price for this house? I didn't expect it to be so high. This house is hideous. I agree. We should look for a different house. A house like this wouldn't be so bad. As long as the price tag doesn't make it hideous. Let's check the price first next time. What is that you're riding? It's my new riding lawnmower. It looks like a sporting vehicle. Mowing the lawn can be a sport. That doesn't sound like a very exciting sport. It's exciting on a riding mower. How does it take you? How long does it take you to finish the lawn? Around 20 minutes. It takes me an hour most of the time. This tool is fun and convenient. Can I borrow it sometime? No way. A racer never lends out his race car. The pool is filthy. I forgot to put on the cover last night. There are mosquitoes buzzing around it. They lay their eggs in the stagnant water. How are we supposed to go swimming? You have to wait until I clean the pool. Can you clean it now? I have to before more mosquitoes hatch. Try not to get bitten. I'd hate to be hospitalized for a mosquito bite. If you are, make sure you finish the pool first. Your concern over me is heartwarming. What is that black goo you're carrying? It's roofing tar. Are you replacing your shingles? Yes, I am. The roof has been leaking in the rain. Isn't tar very messy? Yes, I need to be careful with it. How long does it take to finish? It takes several hours to replace all the shingles. I think you'd better work very quickly. Why do I have to work quickly? It looks like it's going to rain again tonight. Sometimes I think Mother Nature just likes being mean. There is garbage all over the ground. Those raccoons knocked over the trash cans again. I feel like calling animal control. Would they take care of the problem? I think they'd come and catch them. What would happen to the raccoons? They'd be released into the wild. What if they put them to sleep? I didn't think about that. Maybe it's better to buy chains for the trash cans. I think so too. That way we won't kill any raccoons. I am tired of living in my apartment building. Didn't you just move in a few months ago? Yes, but I really regret it. Why do you regret it so much? My neighbor is a percussionist. That sounds awesome. I love the drums. You wouldn't love them at three in the morning. He plays that late into the night? All the time. It sounds like I live in the jungle. Why don't you just complain to the landlord? I didn't want to cause problems. Your neighbor caused problems in the first place. My apartment is too far from work. Have you considered moving? I've thought about it. Where would you move to? I don't like the neighborhood around my job. What about the next one over? Then I'd be too far from school. 
There are some apartments in between the two. I went to see them, but they were too small. Why don't you live in a townhouse? I suppose that would be a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. It was my idea. I repainted my house, so I need some new furniture. What pieces are you looking for? A new table, a sofa, and maybe a reading chair. What's wrong with your old furniture? It doesn't match the room anymore. Is it still comfortable to use? Yes, I think I will sell it. You can also get it reupholstered. Are you crazy? That is much too expensive. It depends on where you have it done. I still say that it takes too much effort. Trying to help you takes too much effort, too. Apartments are so expensive these days. Only rich people can afford to live in them. My landlord raised the rent, so I'm moving out. Where will you live? I don't know yet. I have to search for an apartment. Are you going to live alone? Well, I've never had a roommate before. I would find one if I were you. It would be helpful in paying the rent. Post an ad on Craigslist and see who replies. If a psycho becomes my roommate, I'll blame you. If that happens, I'll stay far away from your apartment. There are so many bus stops. Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. How do I know which stop to wait at? It's written on the bus schedule. Where can I find the bus schedule? You can look it up online. Everything is online nowadays. Yes, it makes things convenient. What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? You can check the destination on each bus. What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? Ask a bus driver for help. There are so many buses going to Montebello. There are many places in Montebello. How do I know which bus to take? First, choose where you want to go in Montebello. All right, then what's next? Read the list of Montebello buses going to that stop. There are three. How do I choose one? They are all going to the same place? Yes, it looks like they are. Then choose the bus based on the timetable. This is the bus that gets me there the soonest. You'd better get moving. It'll be here soon. I just missed my bus. Oh no, what are you going to do? I don't know. The next one comes in 10 minutes. You won't make it to work on time. What should I do? Ask the next bus driver for help. How can he possibly help me? He could tell you which bus to ride. Do you think it's all right to ride a different bus? Sure, as long as you get to work on time. I just hope I won't get lost. You won't. Besides, it's good not to sit idly by. Where do I buy my bus ticket? You buy it in the bus. Isn't there a station? Yes, but that's not where you buy tickets. Does the bus driver give me my ticket? The bus driver has a machine that does. Do I buy a new ticket every time I ride the bus? Yes, but if you plan to ride several buses, buy a day pass. Why should I buy a day pass? It would be cheaper than buying several tickets. So I just wait for the bus to get here? Yes, and make sure you have change. Why didn't you buy a bus ticket? I have a tap card. What is a tap card? It stores money for me to use when I ride the bus. Is it like a credit card? It works exactly like a credit card. How did the bus driver know you had one? I tapped it on his ticket console. I see. That is much faster. Yes, and much more convenient. Maybe I'll get myself a tap card. You should. You'd save time and money. Take out your student ID card. Why do I need it? If you show it to the driver, your ticket costs less. That is very helpful to students. Yes, saving every little bit counts. He charged me a whole dollar less. Yes, bus drivers are nice to students. I wish I'd known it to it sooner. Me too. We would have saved some money. Does it work for college students too? I think so, as long as you show a school ID. 
I'd better tell my big brother, too. There are so many bus lines here. Yes, there are. I still get confused sometimes. How do you know which buses to get on? I check the schedules at each bus stop. That is so convenient. Yes, it is. It helps to keep me from getting lost. So many bus lines can be confusing. The buses pass by very frequently. How often do they pass by? Maybe once every 10 to 15 minutes. I feel like I'll never get stranded here. Definitely not. Just make sure you have a ticket. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? I can't find the Muni bus I'm looking for. Well, the letters flash on the sign as they arrive. That's the problem. I don't see the 8X Muni. Oh, there's been a misunderstanding. What do you mean? The line you're looking for is actually a bus line. Oh, where can I take it? Just go out to the stop on the street. It's a little confusing to have a Muni bus and a Muni train. Just remember, if it has a number, it's a Muni bus. At what time does the Montebello bus leave? It leaves every 10 minutes. Do you know when the next one is coming? Well, you actually just missed it. You mean I have to wait 10 whole minutes? Unfortunately, sometimes though, it's a little faster. I wonder if I'll still have enough time for shopping. You only have a few minutes to buy something. I'm in a bit of a hurry. You should try a different bus routes. Is it easy to navigate bus routes? Very easy. Here's a map for you to read. What bus do we need to take? We need to take the Metro. The Metro bus stop isn't here. No, I meant the Metro Gold Line. I've never ridden that bus line before. It's not a bus. It's a Metrolink train. Why do we need to take the train? It'll take us to Pasadena faster. How will it do that? Trains have fewer stops and never get stuck in traffic. That sounds very convenient. It is. Hurry and buy your tap card. I'm so tired. Me too. That's the longest flight I've ever ridden. Where's our hotel? I have the address right here. It's not too far. We can take the bus. Actually, we can't. Why we can't? The bus will not allow us to carry luggage. That's so inconvenient. It's because it'll take up space on the bus. How do we get back to the hotel then? I guess we'll have to call a taxi. Excuse me, I need a ticket. You owe me a dollar. I already put one in. Yes, and you owe me another. The counter says fare is one dollar. The fare counter tells how much money you've inserted. I don't understand. It reads one dollar because you put a dollar in. How do I know I've paid the fare? The counter will go back to zero. Oh, I see what you mean. Now that you've paid your two dollars, here's your ticket. I like a window seat. Why are you always so excited about sitting there? I like being able to look outside. You walk along the streets all the time. That's true, but this way it's like a movie. What do you mean it's like a movie? I like watching the people walking by. All people walk the same way, you know. Perhaps, but not all people live the same way. What does this have to do with a window seat? I just like looking out at the world. Suppose the world is rather peaceful. We only have to ride for one stop. Yeah, then we have a bus transfer. Let's sit here by the door. I don't think we should sit there. Why don't you want to sit there? Those seats are reserved for the handicapped and elderly. Are all the seats next to the exits reserved? I think they are. They have signs beside them. All the seats close to those are taken. Just choose any seat. Oh, look! We're there already. I suppose standing wasn't so bad anyway. This bus is amazing. It's so big. The seats are comfortable, too. I didn't know they have outlets and Wi-Fi. These buses are as comfortable as possible. Let's look for a seat with an outlet. Look! 
There's one there. It looks like it's already taken. I guess we have to be faster next time. I found one. Sit down, quickly. We're all set for our trip now. The man getting on the bus is in a wheelchair. The driver has to adjust the seats. What will he do for them? He'll move them out of the way. They look difficult to move. Maybe we should help him. What do I do? Just release the lever under the seat. Now what do I do? Let's push the seats out of the way. The driver and the man are so grateful. We should always try to help others. Hi. Sorry I took so long to meet you. That's all right. We have plenty of time. Who is that girl sleeping on your shoulder? She's just someone else riding the bus. You mean you don't know her? No, she boarded after I did and fell asleep. Don't you mind her leaning on your shoulder? No, I don't. She must be exhausted. What if she misses her stop? I heard her say she's going to Main Street. Hey, that's our stop too. Yeah, so just let her sleep. It'll be fine. Hey, you need to wake up now. Where am I? You're at the last stop on the route. What? How did we get so far? You fell asleep and didn't request a stop. I was supposed to get off three stops ago. I didn't know. All I do is drive the bus. How can I get back from here? A bus going back will arrive soon. That's good. I'd hate to be stranded. Make sure you don't fall asleep this time. Trust me, I'll never fall asleep again. You should put away those chips. Why? I'm hungry. You'll leave crumbs everywhere. Someone will pick them up. Probably roaches and vermin. There are no roaches on the bus. That's only because people work to keep things clean. You're exaggerating. There are signs saying no food on the bus. No one takes those signs seriously. Imagine if everyone left crumbs and trash on the bus. I guess I should not make a mess at least. That child just won't stop crying. It's been crying for the last three stops. The mother has tried feeding it already. I guess she can't change the diaper on the bus. I read once that baby's ears hurt on the bus. Why do their ears hurt? It's because of the air pressure in the bus. Is it like when your ears hurt on a plane? Well, my ears hurt too. I don't think that's because of air pressure. I can't stand it anymore. Let's get off now. All right, that screeching is getting to me too. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, likewise. Are you taking the bus downtown? Yes, I am. I'm doing some shopping. Oh, so am I. Prices are so much better there. Yes, they are. The weather is very nice today, at least. I'm glad for that. It's nice for walking about. Heat waves are so unfortunate. They drain my energy. I know what you mean. Would you like to join me while shopping today? I just remembered. I have to get off at the next stop. Oh no, I lost my ticket. Was it an all-day pass? Yes, I just bought it. What are you going to do? Well, I guess all I need to do is get home. It takes three transfers to get to your house. Maybe I'll just hop the bus. No way! You have to buy another ticket. It's not a big deal. No one will notice. You'd better not. You could get in trouble. I feel like I'm wasting my money. A $2 ticket is better than a $150 ticket fine. My tap card isn't working. Why not? Try it again. It's still not accepting the fare. Is the magnetic strip broken? No. I just used it at the station. Did it run out of credit? No. I just refilled it yesterday. Did you tap it upside down? I tried flipping it several times. Look, you're using a Metro card. What's the problem with that? This is the Montebello bus line. Plane tickets are so expensive. I can't afford to fly to San Francisco. Well, we can always go by bus. 
There's a bus that drives to San Francisco? There are buses that drive to any nearby state. That sounds perfect. How much is the fare? Usually one fifth of what a plane ticket costs. How do we buy tickets? If we buy them online, they're even cheaper. What bus line do I search? Greyhound buses are the most popular. I'm so glad we'll have a trip after all. This line is so long. We've been waiting for almost an hour. I guess they do really check thorough. What are they checking for? They need to make sure no one is carrying any weapons. I'm glad they check thoroughly for that. They also have to make sure no one has drugs. Wow, I guess that's why the police dogs are here. Look, there are only three people ahead. After that, can we board the bus? Yes, we're almost there. Good, I'm tired of standing in line. What time is it? The sun just rose. How many more hours are left? Maybe two more hours. That's good. I'm hungry. I'm feeling hungry too. My neck hurts from sleeping in a bad position. Next time, maybe we should bring pillows. Definitely. Then my head won't bounce around. At least you're not car sick. You're car sick? It's better not to talk about it. Do you have any online accounts? What is an online account? Something you use on social networks. I don't know what those are. Websites where you talk about yourself. Why would I want to do that? So you can make friends. I already have friends. You can make more friends. But I don't need more friends. Forget I mentioned anything. You're still my friend, right? You should add me on Facebook. I don't have a Facebook. Why don't you make one? I don't have money. Facebook is free to join. What do I have to do? Go to the website and sign up. It says I need an email address. Don't you have one? I don't remember the password. Don't you ever email friends? I like texting better. Why are you taking pictures of yourself? I need a profile picture. Just use any picture. I need it to be perfect. Have you added any new friends? I added our classmates. The girls too? A few of the girls. A good picture won't get you a girlfriend. Maybe they will think I am handsome. Why would they think that? Girls like a guy with a nice smile. Why does Facebook need my birth date? So people can know how old you are. But my friends know how old I am. People who are not your friends. I don't want them to see my age. What's wrong with it? It's better if I seem older. Why is it better? Then I will seem more mature. But you post about cartoons a lot. Adults can watch cartoons. Those adults should get a job. The cute girl from class added me on Facebook. Has she sent you any messages? Not yet. I'm still waiting. What makes you think she will? We have a lot in common. How do you know? We posted about the same TV show. Why don't you send her a message first? I am afraid she will reject me. Just try to be friends for now. I can't message her if you're here. Fine, then I won't help you. I saw the pictures of your date yesterday. It wasn't a date. Didn't you go to the movies? Yes, I went to the movies together. Then it was a date. The girl was my cousin. I see. That was my mistake. You should not assume things. So Facebook dating did not go well? I don't just use Facebook for dating. What else could it be for? I play games sometimes, too. I met someone online yesterday. Who is it? A boy from Budapest. Where is Budapest? I asked him that question, too. What did he say? He said it is in Hungary. Is that very far away? Thousands of miles away. 
How can you be friends then? I just like talking to him. Maybe he'll teach you Hungarian. Why did you fall asleep in class today? I stayed up late playing Farmville. What is that? A game on Facebook. You play too many games. You should play with me sometime. No way. I don't want to. Why don't you? I don't want to be a zombie. What's a zombie? What you'll become if you play too many games. I guess I should play less often. Are you ready to go home? I can't go home yet. Why? Do you have club activities? No, I have detention. Why did you have detention? Because I did not turn in the homework. Weren't you home sick yesterday? Yes, I was very sick. Then the teacher should understand. He saw pictures of my party on Facebook. If you're not sick, you shouldn't stay home. I think I'll just unfriend him. You were a cute child. How would you know? Your mom posted your baby pictures on Facebook. When did she do that? Last week. Didn't you see them? No, my laptop is in the shop. Most of our classmates have seen them. This is too embarrassing. It is not that bad. I'm going to make her delete them. I should mention there are videos too. My reputation is ruined. I was fired from my part-time job. Why did you get fired? My boss said I was too irresponsible. Didn't you do good work for him? I missed a few days of work. Why is that a problem? I went to the arcade and he found out. Did you post pictures on Facebook again? Yes, but I didn't know he'd see them. Everyone can see your Facebook. I'll be more careful next time. Just don't do bad things at all. I'm deleting my Facebook. I thought that you liked Facebook. I do, but it's inconvenient. Are the games not fun anymore? That's not it. Did you get bored of reading posts? No, I still like them. Did you lose interest in your friends? Of course not. Then what's the problem? It's too easy to be stalked. Don't worry, only attractive people are stalked. I found a new social networking site. That's cool. What's it called? It's called Tumblr. It's a blog site. It's blogging different from Facebook? It is very different and much more fun. Why is it more fun? You get to see more people's posts. What kind of posts? Many different kinds based on your interests. It sounds fun. Is it free? Yes, it's free. All right. I'll join. Just don't follow my blog. I am following my favorite artist on Tumblr. Why are you following their blogs? I'm hoping they will see my drawings. What would that do? I heard that some artists find jobs this way. You mean the artist hires them? Sometimes, if their art is good. That sounds amazing. Tumblr is very good for getting noticed. I want to be a singer. Maybe you can post some songs on Tumblr. I don't think Lady Gaga will notice me. Do you know about phone applications? Not much. Are you looking for one? I want to download the Tumblr app. If you do, you'll never do any homework. Why do you think that? You'd waste time on your phone all day. Don't you think I am responsible? I know you're not responsible. Why would you say that? Because you never turn things in on time. Maybe I'll enroll on online classes. They won't be anything like Tumblr. Now that I have my first job, I need a bank account. What kind of bank account are you going to open? There are different types of bank accounts. You can open a checking account. That means I'll have checks to pay bills, right? Yes, and you'll get a debit card you can use, too. That's different from a credit card, right? Yes, a debit card takes money directly from your bank account. 
So what is a savings account? That's a low interest earning account meant for you to save money. So that's not for everyday spending. No, that's to save up for your retirement. I'd like to open a checking account. We would love to have you as our customer. What documents do you need from me? Do you have state issued identification? Is my driver's license okay? That's perfect. I also need your social security number. Is there a minimum balance requirement? Our basic checking account has a $25 minimum balance per month. I can keep that in my account? I also need proof of address. Can I show you my gas bill? Yes. Now I need you to sign some papers. I would like to order some checks. Since you only have our basic checking account, it will cost you. I don't need that many checks. One box of checks is $15. Can I choose what my checks will look like? Yes, we have many different designs to choose from. I would like kittens on my checks. The kitten checks cost $18 per box. That is a small price to pay for cuteness. We can deduct that amount directly from your checking account. How long till I receive my checks? The checks take approximately two weeks to arrive. I'd like to deposit my paycheck. Do you have an account here? I have a checking account. You need to fill out a deposit slip. Where can I find those? There are deposit slips on the tables throughout the branch. What information do I put on the deposit slip? You need to put the name on the account, the account number, and the amount of the deposit. How long till I can access the money? You can access it immediately. Can I only take a deposit with a teller? No, you can also use an ATM or even your cell phone. I'd like to make a withdrawal. Will that be from your checking or savings account? I don't have a savings account. Then it will be from your checking account. I'd like to take out $200. Do you have a withdrawal form? Where can I get one of those? They are located right behind you on the table. What do I need to write on the form? You need to write the name on the account, the account number, and how much you want to take out. Is that all? I also need photo identification. What is this returned check fee on my statement? It means you bounced a check. What does that mean? It means you wrote a check but you didn't have enough money in your account to cover it. So my landlord never got paid? No, and the bank charged you a fee. So what do I do now? Do you have enough money to pay your rent? I do, but I think I'm going to pay in cash. Your landlord may also charge you a fee for bouncing the check. I need to be more careful about my spending. Bouncing a check ends up costing you more money. I'd like to transfer some money. Between what two accounts would you like to transfer the money? I'd like to transfer $100 from my savings account to my checking account. All right. You just need to fill out this slip of paper. What information do I need to write down? You need to write both account numbers and how much you are transferring. Is the money available immediately? It is. Could you please show me identification? Is there a limit to how many transfers I can make? You can make up to 25 free transfers in a year. What happens if I want to make more? There is a fee for making more transfers. I would like to cash this check. Did you endorse the check? What does endorse mean? It means you need to sign the back of the check. I will do that right now. Can I have your account number and identification, please? Oh, I don't have an account here. Then there will be a $10 fee to cash the check. Do I have to pay that fee? An alternative would be to open an account here. I already have a checking account at another bank. Then you should cash your check there. I need to stop payment on a check that I wrote. Do you have a copy of the check you wrote? Yes, I was able to get a digital copy online. Why are you stopping payment on this check? I paid my landlord already. 
So you don't want him to get paid twice? I don't have the money to pay him twice. We can only stop payment if the check hasn't cashed already. Is there a fee to stop the payment? Yes, there is a $10 fee. That's better than paying my rent twice. I suppose it is. Why do I have a negative balance on my checking account? This means you used more money than you actually had in your account. So, what do I do now? The negative amount is how much you owe the bank. Am I going to be hit with an extra fee? The bank will charge you a $35 overdraft fee. How long do I have to pay the negative amount back? You should do it as soon as possible or else the bank can charge you more money. What happens if I don't pay it back? The bank can close your account and send the balance to collectors. That's not good for my credit. No, it's not. You better get it taken care of. I just got my first ATM card. That's great. Do you know how to use it? Actually, I could use some help. Let's go to our bank's ATM. Does it have to be my bank's ATM? It should be, or else you will get hit with fees. Once I put my card in, what do I do? You need to put your PIN number in. I wrote my PIN number down. It's in my wallet. To be safe, you should memorize it. Once I punch in my PIN number, what do I do? You need to choose what transaction you want to make. I'm sorry, but your card was declined. This is my ATM card, and I know I have money in my account. Maybe you have less money in the account than you thought. I just checked my balance this morning. Your account may have been frozen. Why would the bank do that? You should contact your bank. How else can I pay for these items? Do you have a credit card? I can write you a check. If it's from the same bank account as your ATM card, then I can't accept that check. I guess I can't go shopping today then. What fees does this bank charge? There are different fees depending on the kind of account you have with us. I have a basic checking account. There is no fee for a basic checking account unless you have less than the minimum balance. How much is the minimum balance? You need to have at least $25 in your account every day or else you will pay an $8 monthly fee. Are there overdraft charges? Yes. For each overdraft, there is a $35 fee. What about ATM fees? If you use one of our ATMs, there is no fee. What if I use another bank's ATM? Then you will be charged $2. I'd like to make a deposit. Will you be putting this deposit towards the fees you owe? What fees do I owe? You owe an overdraft fee of $35, a minimum balance fee of $8, and an ATM fee of $2. So much for free checking. Nothing in this life is free. Take what I owe from the amount that I just deposited. Will that be all? I want to close my bank account. I'm so sorry to hear that. Can I ask why? It's because of all the extra fees. Most banks charge fees. What's the minimum balance requirement to open a checking account? For our basic checking account, you need to maintain a $50 minimum. What other types of accounts are there? Our premium checking account requires a $100 minimum. What makes it premium? Your money will earn some interest if it's a premium checking account. What happens if I don't have the minimum balance? You will be charged $25 a month if you have a basic checking account. Does anyone offer free checking anymore? It's free if you maintain the minimum. I don't have a steady job right now. Maybe you should just keep your money under your mattress. I have a problem with the checking account I have at this bank. What seems to be the problem? I keep getting hit with fees, but I'm not getting my statements. Did you opt to get online statements? I did. But I haven't seen any in my inbox. Perhaps they are going to your spam folder. I didn't even think of that. We can't refund all of your fees, but I can refund this month's. That would be helpful. May I suggest you get regular paper statements? 
Since I'm not tech savvy, that's a good idea. Just confirm your mailing address for me. I want to contest some charges I see on my account. Do you think your account has been compromised? I think I am a victim of identity theft. What proof do you have? I did not buy anything in Miami last week. How can we be sure? I work here in New Jersey. We will open an investigation. How long will that take? The investigation can take up to six weeks. I need my money now, though. The charges you contest will be frozen. I'd like to open another account. That's great. What kind of account would you like to open? I already have a checking account here. So, would you like to open a savings account? Will I earn interest on a savings account? As long as you make regular deposits and do not make withdrawals. What is an interest rate? You will earn 1% interest per month. Can I transfer money from my checking account? Of course you can. We can even set it up so it happens automatically. Are there any fees? There is a one-time $10 service fee. I want to close my account. We're sorry to lose you as a customer. Can I ask why? I keep getting hit by fees. We have a new low-fee checking account. I was already on the basic checking plan and you guys still charged me a ton of fees. Have you registered for online banking? Yeah, and I never got my statements. Have you tried our mobile app with text alerts? My phone isn't compatible. Just close the account. You have $425 in the account. Pay it to me in cash. We hope you will try banking with us again. Should I ask Nancy out or not? You should not. Why shouldn't I? Nancy is a liar. What does she lie about? She lies about everything. Please be specific. She lied, saying that her mom died. Wow, that's terrible. She wanted people to do favors for her. I'm never asking her out. I'm glad you decided to listen to me. I have a date with Mary tomorrow. Don't you have a date with Dorothy? My date with Dorothy is at 12 p.m. You have dates with both of them? What's wrong with that? Does Mary and Dorothy know about this? No. Should they? I think they would be upset if they knew. I'm just dating them. It's not serious. Why don't you tell them that? I think you're really pretty. Thanks. That's nice of you to say. Will you go out with me? No, I apologize. Why not? Did I say something wrong? You only want to go out with me for my looks. That's not true. What do you think of my personality? It's pretty. You're funny. A personality can't be pretty. Honestly, I don't care about your personality. Then I don't care about dating you. So what are we doing on Saturday? I don't have anything planned. Are you kidding me? No. What is so special about Saturday? I shouldn't even have to tell you. Is it your birthday? No, it's our one year anniversary. I am so sorry. You should be. I guess I'm not that important. You are. I'll make it up to you. How are you going to do that? I'm going to get you an expensive gift. I'll pay the restaurant bill. No, I'll pay. You always pay. I'll do it this time. I'm the guy, so I'm supposed to pay. That is sexist. Are you really complaining about someone paying for you? Yes, because you're being sexist. Just let me pay. How about you pay half and I'll pay half? Only friends do that. We're a couple. Not anymore. I'm breaking up with you. You can pay then. I am never asking girls out again. That's crazy talk. Sarah didn't meet up with me like we planned. So you got stood up? Yeah, I feel pathetic. Maybe she got the location wrong. No, she didn't. I asked her friends.
What did they say? They said she never wanted to go out with me. That's harsh. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll never talk to her again. There are plenty of girls out there. Will you go out with me? I think I'll pass. Why are you rejecting me? You just want to date me because I am rich. That's not true. I heard you talking to your friends about my money. I was just kidding. You're a terrible liar. Okay, you got me. How long did you plan on dating me if I said yes? I planned on marrying you and then taking your money. You are disgusting. I ran out of date locations. Try museums and amusement parks. Me and my boyfriend have been to both. Go to a different museum. That won't work. I feel like we've been everywhere. You can always go to a place more than once. No, it's too boring. If you're with someone you like, the location doesn't matter. Maybe I should break up with my boyfriend. I thought you two had chemistry. We don't. We can't talk about anything. Break up with him before it gets serious. We need to talk. You're breaking up with me? I didn't even say anything yet. I already know. You're right. I'm breaking up with you. Why? I thought things were going good. They were. Things happen. What kind of things? I can't tell you. You'll get mad. I need to know. I met someone else. You're right. I am mad. My parents tell me I can only date after college. That is ridiculous. When can you date? My parents let me date whenever. You're so lucky. Why don't you just not tell them? That would be rebellious. Life is boring without rebellion. Wouldn't they eventually find out? Even if they do, they can't change anything. You're totally right. It's your life, not your parents. I have to tell you something. Go ahead and tell me. You won't like it. Just spill it. I saw your boyfriend kissing another girl. Are you serious? Yes, they were at a fancy restaurant. Thank you for telling me. Of course. We're good friends. I'm going to embarrass him. He deserves it. Call me when you see them together again. So, what are some of your hobbies? I don't have any. What are your favorite TV shows? I don't watch TV. What do you want to do when you grow up? I don't know. How would you describe yourself? I don't know. Oh, come on. You must know something. Don't you get the hint? I don't want to be here. Thanks for wasting my time. You're welcome. When are you going to marry? Where is this coming from? You have been dating Patricia for five years already. I'm just taking it slow. It can't get any slower. What if I find someone else? You won't. Patricia is your soulmate. Does she want to marry me? Yes, she told me. I need to talk to her. Don't tell her I told you. Don't worry, I will not. I met my girlfriend's parents yesterday. How were they? Terrible. They hate me. What did they say? The mother said I'm not smart enough for her daughter. That's mean. The father said I look like a thug. Well, what were you wearing? A red t-shirt and jeans. Seriously? You have to be more classy. They should be happy when I make their daughter happy. You need to meet up with them again. I'm going to send a drink to that girl. Don't do it. Why shouldn't I? She'll pour the drink on your head. Has she done that to you before? She does it to everyone. Why doesn't she just accept the drink? She thinks she's too good for any guy. I'm going to pour the drink on her. I would love to see that. The question is, what drink? 
something sticky and sour. I've been dating for a while, but I've never kissed anyone. Don't worry about it. When did you have your first kiss? I was 15. How was it? Weird. I didn't like the guy at all. Why did you kiss him then? I wanted to get it over with. When should I kiss my girlfriend? When you're ready. I don't think I'll ever be ready. Then maybe your girlfriend is the problem. What's your idea of a perfect date? You want me to tell you? Yes, I really want to know. He has to come to my door with roses. And then what? He has to open the door of a limousine. Then where are you going to go? A fancy restaurant with an ocean view. That sounds nice. We would eat lobster. How would you end your date? With fireworks and dessert. Let's go on a double date. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? It'll be fun. My boyfriend is really shy. Me and my boyfriend don't bite. I'll think about it. Don't just think about it. Say yes. I would have to ask my boyfriend. He'll go. We'll go to the museum your boyfriend loves. He would like that. So, is that a yes? It's a maybe. I have a date with an amazing girl tomorrow. How did you meet her? I bumped into her on the street. What a coincidence. It was love at first sight. How do you know? We looked into each other's eyes. Anyone can look into another person's eyes. It was more than just looking. What was it like then? It was like a fairy tale. All you need is a castle then. Are you going to go out with John? No, I decided not to. Why not? He is such a good man. I just don't see a future with him. It's because he's shorter than you, am I right? I am not that shallow. Oh, come on. Stop lying to me. Fine. You are right. You should give him a chance. I just think dating a short guy is weird. Get past his appearance. Don't be shallow. I guess I should call him again. I think Jamie is very handsome. Well, you can't talk to him. Why not? Because he's going out with me. That's not true. Of course it is. And we are together all of the time. That's just because you do his homework for him. No, he likes me more because I'm smarter than you. But I'm prettier than you. You are not. I really am. Let's ask Jamie who is prettier. Fine. Let's go. Why is the guy behind me honking? You are going too slow. I am driving at the speed limit. Everyone drives fast in this town. No one follows the rule? You're the only one. I should yell at him. No, he'll just be even more mad. Good. He deserves to be mad. You don't know if he's dangerous. I'll just go even slower. That would really annoy him. Why are you driving so fast? I have to be at work on time. Do you really have to? Yes, I will be fired if I'm late. I don't want to die. Relax, I am a good driver. A good driver doesn't drive extremely fast. We haven't even hit anything yet. I bet you're going to get a ticket. How much do you want to bet? If I win, you're never driving me. If I win, you have to shut up whenever I drive. How long have you had your license? Only two days. I don't feel safe. Why not? I passed the test. Did you get a perfect score? No, but a lot of people don't. What was your percentage? 75%, which is totally fine. Can you just drop me off here? Are you serious? Yes, 
I don't want to get hurt. Fine. Don't ever ask me again for a ride. Driving is so bad for the environment. We should carpool. That is a smart idea. Where do you live? I live on Broadway in Los Angeles. Perfect. I live two streets down. I can drive on Mondays and Tuesdays. I'll drive for the rest of the week then. Can we start tomorrow? Sure. I'll pick you up at 8 a.m. What color is your car? You can't miss it. It's green. Do you like my new car? Yeah, but it's a little plain. What should I do to make it less plain? Decorate it. That's what I did. I know. I'll put stuffed animals in the back. You can also get a steering wheel cover. I might as well get matching seat covers, too. I'll give you my sister's seat and steering wheel covers. Are they new? Yeah, she never used them. Thanks. How much do you want for them? Consider the covers your birthday present. You in the green shirt. Are you talking to me? You're the only one here in a green shirt. What do you want? I saw you scratch my car with a key. You have no proof. You do know there are video cameras, right? I don't know what you're talking about. If you admit it now, I won't press charges. Fine. I scratched your car. Why did you do it? You parked too close to my car. You have not driven in a month. I just like staying home these days. What is really going on? Honestly, I'm scared of getting into an accident. You weren't scared two months ago. My best friend got into a car accident. Accidents do happen, but not if you're careful. I'm just scared. You shouldn't be. If it happened to my friend, it can happen to me. So you're just going to never drive? I'll drive when I'm ready. Where do you want to go? How about Santa Anita Mall? I don't know how to drive there. Do you have a map? Yes, but I don't know how to read it. Try calling someone for directions. I lost my phone yesterday. You are so unlucky. Do you want to go anywhere else? Yeah, surprise me. Okay, I know this really fun place. Great, I can't wait. Dad, I don't have my own car. Your mom and I talked to you about this. I wasn't paying attention. We don't have enough money for a new car. Can't we just take some loans? You can just use the old car. It's so ugly, though. Money doesn't grow on trees. Everyone at school has a new car. Get a job and buy one yourself. But no one wants to hire me. Then you're going to have to do drive an old car. My license plate number came in today. Do you like it? It's just some random numbers and letters. You should customize it. I can do that? Yeah, I did. What does yours say? Mine says Cali 95. Why did you choose that? I love California and I was born in 1995. That is pretty clever. Thanks. You could do something similar. Are you sure you want to go to Seattle? Yes, I am sure. It's an eight hour drive. I know. Let's go. If you say so. I'll drive for the first four hours. I'll drive for the last four hours. Did you bring food? I brought sandwiches and bottles of water. Good. I brought the napkins. Let's get gas first. Yes, we need a lot of it. My car was stolen. I am so sorry to hear that. Did you happen to see anything suspicious yesterday? Well, I did see a man looking at your car. What time did you see this man? I saw him at about 2 p.m. I wasn't home at that time. Then the man I saw could be the criminal. What did he look like? I couldn't really see his face. I'll never find the criminal. I hope you have a good insurance plan. Hi, 
Is there a specific car you're looking for? I'm looking for a convertible. We have a wide selection right here. I don't see what I want here. Really? We have over 100 convertibles. I'm interested in a purple convertible. That's a rare color in any car dealer. I guess I have to go elsewhere. Don't go. We have colors close to purple. Like what exactly? We have blue cars. Blue is blue. Purple is purple. Goodbye. Is your seat belt on? Of course it is. I can tell you're lying. Fine. The truth is, I never put my seat belt on. Why not? That's so dangerous. It feels so uncomfortable. Say that after you get into a car accident. I'm never going to get into an accident. There are other reasons you should put on your seat belt. And that is? You're going to get a ticket. Really? Fine. I'll put my seat belt on. Are you nervous for your driving test? Yeah. I don't want to fail. You won't. You have been practicing a lot. There's one thing I was never good at. What is that one thing? Right turns. What's wrong with your right turns? They're too wide. We can practice right now. You would do that for me? Of course. I want you to pass. All right. Let's do this. The traffic in this lane is terrible. Why do you think that is? Probably some car accident. You should switch to another lane. Okay. I'll switch to the right lane. Wait. There's a car coming. That was scary. I almost hit that car. How could you not see that? I didn't look in the rearview mirror. You are such a bad driver. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. I think it's only you who makes such mistakes. Make a right turn here. Watch out. There's a person walking. I see him. He walks so slowly. Is he doing this on purpose? Maybe we should tell him to speed up. That's kind of mean. Then we'll wait. I know. I can honk at him. That is even worse than talking to him. Forget it. I'm driving straight ahead. You're more impatient than I thought. You got a new car? How did you know? I saw it in your driveway. What do you think of it? It's really fancy. Yeah, it was expensive. How much was it? It was over a hundred thousand dollars. That's four times as much as my car. It's a brand name car. You must be pretty rich then. No, I just really like fancy cars. Hey, can I get a ride? I don't know you very well. We're in the same math class. I know, but we're just classmates. Please, my house is far away and it's hot. You can take the bus. The bus doesn't come for another hour. Surely you can wait. No, I can't. I have to be home soon. I'll drive you, but only for a price. You name it. Buy me dinner. I cleaned my car yesterday. It's not clean anymore. What happened? Take a look. Oh no, there's bird poop. That's unfortunate since you just washed it. Can you wash my car? I'll wash it for $15. This can be your birthday gift to me. It's a deal. Have fun washing the poop off. Sometimes I wonder why we're friends. Excuse me, can you please help me? What's the problem? My car stopped in the middle of the road. Did you run out of gas? Yes, I think I did. There is no gas station within walking distance. May I please borrow your phone? Are you planning to call a tow service? Yes, I think it's all I can do. If you'd like, I'll drive you to the station. Thank you so much. It's no problem. Let's get going. I hate driving in this city. Why do you hate it? There's traffic everywhere you go. I know that can be stressful. How do you handle it? 
It's just about finding two things. And what is that? First, you need to find a lot of patience. What's the second thing? Then, you need to find a lot of shortcuts. Can you show me some of these shortcuts? Sure, I'll show you around tomorrow. Thank you so much. I was about to go crazy. I think my car needs an oil change. Why don't you go buy the oil and do it yourself? I am not familiar with the process. I can teach you to do it, if you'd like. I'd be grateful if you did. How about next week? That is too long from now. Can you do it sometime this week? I have too much work to do it this week. Then maybe you should take it to the mechanic. Where can I find one nearby? Look it up in the yellow pages or even online. I really like your shoes. Thank you. Where did you buy them? I bought them at a store in the mall. Were they very expensive? They were around $40. They look very comfortable. They are extremely comfortable. Do they come in many other colors? I saw several different ones when I bought them. Maybe I'll buy myself a pair. They are definitely worth the money. Are you interested in buying this bike? That thing? I don't think so. I assure you. It is a wonderful sale. It looks rusted. That can be fixed with a light coat of paint. The chain looks old. Just oil it a little and it will be good as new. The seat is uncomfortable. All great bikes have high seats like this. Well, how much are you asking for it? For this fantastic find, only $140. No way. If it is so valuable, sell it to the museum. Excuse me, I'd like your opinion on something. Of course, sir. How may I help you? I want to buy my wife a new scarf. That is very thoughtful of you. Her favorite color is blue, so I chose blue scarves. What do you need me to do? Well, I was wondering which scarf was the prettiest. I see. Well, this one seems a little too dark. What about this one? Maybe something with a nicer pattern. Is this one all right? That one is perfect. I'm sure she'll love it. Where are you going? I'm going to buy some flowers for Valentine's Day. Who are the flowers for? My mom, my sister, and my girlfriend. Wow, you are very thoughtful. I don't really know which flowers to buy, though. Well, for your girlfriend, something romantic. Red roses, of course. For your mother, something that smells nice. Carnations. She loves carnations. And for your sister? I'll buy her some pink roses. Thanks for your help. Excuse me, miss. Yes. Can I ask for your opinion on something? Sure. What can I help you with? Do you think I would look better in the blue or the red dress? I don't think either one is good on you. Then what should I do? I think you should try on the yellow dress. But I hate the color yellow. Then maybe the purple dress would look nice too. I don't like purple either. Then I don't know how to help you. Okay, thanks for your opinion anyway. I'm thinking of buying a bicycle. That sounds like a good idea. Yes, it would help me beat the car traffic. It would also save you a lot on gas money. I'm kind of scared though. Scared of what? I don't want to fall. As long as you practice, you should be fine. Yes, but I could also get hit by a car. I think you will be okay. Just make sure to buy a helmet, too. I love your blue bag. Thank you. I just bought it. It looks very expensive. It really wasn't. I bought it used online. It looks brand new. I know, and I saved $200. Wow. I wonder why they didn't want it anymore. I don't care. As long as it was cheap, I'll take it. Do you think I could find one online, too? You probably could. They have everything online nowadays. 
That's true. I'm going to go look now. Good luck. I want to buy this, but $40 is too expensive. It is a high quality item and worth every penny. It looks a little bit dirty. It is just dusty from being on the shelf. If no one has bought it, it can't be so valuable. It is my last one because I am almost sold out. I'll buy it if you cut the price in half. That is too cheap. I'll make no money. This product is cheap quality. I'll lose money. I'll give it to you for $35. Make it $30 and you've got a deal. All right, $30 sounds fine. Can you help me? Maybe I can. I need this dress in a size 8. If it's not on the rack, we don't have it. Can you just check for me? We don't have that dress in a size 8. But you didn't even check. Look, I'm really tired. I think you mean lazy. Can you ask another employee? I want to talk to your manager. No, I'll go find the dress. Does this hat match my suit? Well, it's the same color. That's good enough for me. Are you going to a dinner party? No, I'm going to a job interview. Then maybe you should wear a tie. That's a good idea. Also, I would not wear the hat if I were you. Why not? It matches well. You look like a mobster from the movies. Don't hats make you look more professional? Only if you're applying to be a hitman. I want to buy my son a skateboard. Do you know what kind of board he'd like? I was thinking a basic board. There are many different kinds. Is there one that is safer than the others? Not really. You should buy safety equipment. What should I buy? A helmet, some elbow pads, and some knee pads. Can I also have some wrist guards? Certainly. You may choose any color you'd like. I came for a skateboard and left with the whole store. Well, safety always comes first. Excuse me. Hello. How can I help you? I'm interested in buying a membership card. That's great. How did you hear about us? A friend of mine has a membership with you. What services are you interested in? I would like to have access to the swimming pool. Would you also like to work out in the gym? Yes, I would. Here is a listing of our prices. I think this plan is best for me. All right. Just fill out this paperwork and that's all. Can you teach me to swim? Why don't you take a class instead? Swim classes are embarrassing. I suppose I can teach you. How did you learn to swim? My father threw me into a lake when I was four years old. You could have drowned. I could have, but I swam instead. Is that how you plan to teach me? It's the best way to learn. I think I will sign up for the class after all. Okay, that is less work for me. Are you going to camp this summer? I don't think so. Why not? I'm kind of traumatized from last year. What happened last year? I got a cramp while swimming and almost drowned. I thought you took swimming lessons last semester. I did, but I'm still afraid. Anything could happen. You just have to trust in your abilities. Do you really think I'll be okay? I know you will. You swim like a fish now. Thanks for your encouragement. I think I will go after all. Why is this soccer ball pink? I bought it at the breast cancer fair. I thought that all soccer balls are black and white. The pattern isn't what makes it a soccer ball. Then what makes it a soccer ball? What's important is the material it's made from. What's so special about the material? It allows the ball to bounce, but not too much. I see. It would be hard to control a bouncy ball. My ball is a little flat, though. We'd better fill it up. If we don't, it won't even roll. Have you seen the air pump? I'm surprised to see you out running. I want to join the track team next semester. 
Is that why you're training so hard? Yes, I want to be in shape for tryouts. You just don't run to get in shape. What should I do then? You should do some weight training too. What good is weight training? It will give you strong legs so you can run well. If my legs get too muscular, I'll look like a frog. Frogs are pretty fast. That's true. Maybe as a frog, I'd win all the races. You sure are buying a lot of stuff. It's all the equipment I need for basketball. What do you need besides a ball and a hoop? All good players have a good pair of shoes. That makes three things. You should also wear comfortable clothes when you play. What about all the candy you're buying? A player has to stay energized. I don't think it's good to run on sugar. Then I'll eat it while I'm watching the basketball game. Are you watching it on television? Yes, there's a big game on Sunday. I want to try out for the tennis team. Our school doesn't have a tennis team. Yes, it does. They were practicing after school yesterday. Were they using a birdie? Of course not. That'd be animal abuse. A birdie is a plastic red nose tool for badminton. Oh, I see. Yes, they were using a red tool. Then the sport you saw was definitely badminton. Is that also why the rackets were so small and thin? Yes. It's w somewhat similar to tennis, though. Well, in that case, I want to join the badminton team. I wish you the best of luck. Do you like baseball? I've never watched a game. You've never even seen it on television? I don't own a television set. We should go watch a game one day. Where can we watch a baseball game? In a baseball stadium. There are entire stadiums just for playing baseball? Yes, they even wrote a song about it. I never knew it was such a popular sport. Do you want to go play catch in the park? Sounds good to me. What happened to your eye? I was punched in the eye. You got into a fight? Yes, but it's all right. I don't think fighting is okay. I was fighting in a boxing match. Are you taking boxing lessons? Yes, I go every evening. Have you ever fought in a competition? Yes, but I didn't make it to the finals. Well, maybe you should wait until your eye heals to compete again. I definitely will. It's hard to box with only one eye open. I'm so sore from running. Maybe you've been practicing too hard. I want to do well on the big race next week. After all that practicing, you'll be too tired to run. I won't. I'm trying to get faster, though. You're pretty fast. I feel like my grandma can run faster than me. You just have to believe in yourself, and you'll do well. I always get nervous before races. Maybe you should run distance races instead. Do you really think I have a good endurance? Of course. Otherwise, you couldn't train this hard. Do you like my new bicycle? It looks very sporty. It's a racing bike. I bought it so I could be in the, tri in the triathlon. Wow, I hear triathlons are difficult. You have to train hard for them. Are triathlons always based on the same three sports? Yes, they are cycling, running, and swimming. It's so exciting. I'll be sure to watch you compete. It's not a competition against others. It's not? No one can win first place? You can, but I just want to prove to myself I can do it. I'm sure you can. I'll even sponsor you in the race. That skateboard doesn't have any wheels. That's not a skateboard. Oh, is it a surfboard then? No, that's a snowboard. It's amazing how similar yet different those three sports are. They all take a lot of practice and dedication. I think I'd like snowboarding best. Why do you like it most? When you wipe out, you fall in fluffy white snow. That does sound better than falling on concrete. It's also better than drowning in the ocean. 
Snowboards are the best kind of board in my book. This is a weird looking golf club. That's not a golf club. What is it then? It's a hockey stick. Is hockey the game the men play on ice? Yes, it is. It's a difficult game. It reminds me a lot of soccer. I think hockey is more difficult than soccer. Why do you think that? Well, you have to skate. Soccer is just kicking. I think there is more to it than that. Either way, I'd be terrible at both. Our skates are so different. What do you mean? Your wheels are all in a line, and mine are not. Oh, that's because these are roller blades. They look difficult to use. They just go a little faster. Our skates show our differences in personality. Why are you saying that? Yours are sharp and sporty, but mine are cute and practical. I'll try to take that as a compliment. Anyways, let's go back to skating. Let's go. What are those men doing with brooms? I think those are special brushes. Are they going to clean the ice? It looks like this is some kind of sport event. Look, they're sweeping in front of that rock. The internet said that the sport is called curling. It doesn't seem like a real sport to me. Me either. All they do is throw the rocks. How did this sport make it into the Olympics? I don't know, but I think it's boring. Should I change the channel? I wouldn't mind if you did. You've been watching a lot of soccer lately. There's a different game shown every day. That's because of the World Cup. Everyone is talking about it all the time. Have you watched every single game? No, I only watch the really important teams. How do you choose which teams are important? Well, I cheer for the countries my parents are from. What other teams do you cheer for? Well, this country's team, of course. How do you choose from all other teams? That's easy. I cheer for the one with the cutest players. I've never been in a sports shop before. I love looking at all of the equipment. Everything is so colorful and new. It's so that players can personalize their equipment. There are so many different sports I've never heard of before. They have sports stuff from all over the world. I feel like I want to try harder in sports now. Why do you have that feeling? That way, I'll know how to use all of this equipment. For now, I think it's best to stick to the basics. I agree, but being in here still makes me excited. Me too, especially when there's a sale. Great shirt! Go Dodgers! It's great to find a fellow fan. Do you think we have a chance at winning this year? Of course. The coach will not let us down. Have you ever been to an actual game? I try to go to at least one every season. What's it like? It's a great experience. Children love going to the stadium. Maybe I'll take my son to a game. Just keep an eye out for flying balls. I'd be more worried about cavities from sweets. It's just a baseball game. You're supposed to pig out. Do you like sports? Of course I do. Awesome! What's your favorite one? Hockey. It's the best sport there is. It's too violent for me. I've heard a lot of people say that. Yes, it looks dangerous. Not really. I've been playing for five years and I'm okay. Is that why you're missing your front teeth? Yes, but it's not that bad. It looks painful. A little. Everything else about hockey is fun. Cool, but I'll stick to golf. Hi, you're David's mom, aren't you? Yes, I am. Do I know you from somewhere? I'm James's mom. They play on the same team. That's right. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Will David be playing in the big game on Saturday? I'm afraid not. He's fighting a cold. That's terrible. A bug has been going around. He missed a lot of school, though. I see. 
I'll, I'll ask David to deliver his homework. That would be a great help. Thank you. It's no problem at all.